What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, a little bit different than the other videos I've been doing today, we are doing a initial review, initial unboxing of this guy. Santa Flow Sanivite pump drain. So Santa Flow reached out to me, asked if we would be able to use this in any of our projects. And we were actually working on this basement project right at the time they messaged me, I'm like, yeah, Absolutely, we got a kitchen, we got a bar sink that we need to get pumped up and over. So there's our sink. We got a drain and a vent that go up and over and go and collect into a three inch drain that's running in that soffit right there. And that's all going into the mechanical room and dumping into the sanitary crock over there. So this was a perfect situation for us to try and use this guy right here. So you can see we kind of got it unboxed already. Me and the plumber are going through the instructions on all this, looking at all the parts that we've gotten and making sure that we do this the right way. So, with that, there she is. So that is not very big at all. So what we're gonna do is, uh, my plumber Mike here, he's going to temp in all of his pieces as it sits and then we'll pull this, because it's not connected right now, we'll pull it out and we'll actually do uh, an install on this thing because you know, I just wanna, pre-fit everything and make sure that we're good to go. A couple things I wanted to go over right away. First is there's multiple connecting options for this, but the awesomest feature so far is that this little elbow right here, this is your inlet, has a check valve built into it already. So you don't need to have an extra check valve up top to really screw things over, but you can do inch and a half, you can do two inch. It's got a nice simple little plug here, but I love how small this whole system is. I'll go through some of the specs in a little bit here, but for this little tiny, tiny bar sink, this little thing is gonna do a very, very good job, or at least we hope so. This is the first time of us using this thing, so. But if uh, if this thing works out the way it is, we're gonna start using these more frequently in more of our jobs. So let's get to pre-fit and everything, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so while the plumber is temping in, pre-fitting all of the parts over there for, for the Santavite, I wanted to show you how nicely laid out the instruction manual is. There's no words. So if you take a look, it's just very simply laid out as to how things should go. It gives you, you know, min and max for the vent there, which is also in the in the other half of the instructions here. But the hookup connections are all very simply laid out. It gives you a pretty detailed parts list as to everything that's included right here. Um, and then the multiple different ways to hook it up with inch and, inch PVC, inch and a quarter, inch and a half all these things on how to make sure you're doing it just right. So I, I do really like this. And then this little guy right here is huge, huge. It's got a pump in it. It's going to make a lot of noise and vibration underneath the sink when it's running, but they give you these little bumpers to isolate the sound, like this, just a nice little thought. We were we were standing around looking at this thing as we were unboxing it, all looking at it, going, "Man, it'd be really nice if we put like something underneath there to help isolate that sound." But then we found the bumpers when we went through the rest of it, so it's really, really nice. I got a full broken down parts list as to where everything actually is. So if we needed to order uh, a new part, we could basically just call them up and say, "Hey, give me number 63." I would think. Maybe not, if it, I don't know. But um, fun fact is we actually received a broken part in our box here. So this is one of the plugs that would go on the side over here. And I immediately reached out to Santa Flow on Instagram and they got back to me within minutes, literally saying they're gonna let me know what is an acceptable temporary solution and they're gonna ship me out a new one, which this is just a push plug in piece. So it works really, really nice. And then here's all the specs for the Santavite. So this right here is the important one. I don't know how clearly this is gonna come in, but if you're going up 12 foot, the max it'll go is 30 feet. Hopefully this is focusing okay. If you're going up zero foot, it'll go 150 feet. And what we're doing here is we got a 10 foot wall there. So we have roughly, we're gonna call it 45 feet of power to pump that water, but we're going up 10 foot and from this corner to the drain is probably 14. So we are well within the power range of the Santavite. And then here's your actual power requirements. So it needs 120 volts, 60 hertz, four and a half amps. Um, 
so looking forward to getting this thing going. So that's kind of it. It also has a nice little limited two-year warranty from date of purchase. So I'll have to actually reach out to Santa Flo on that one and say, hey, when did I purchase this? But very cool. We're looking forward to keeping going. So um, for those of you curious, this is part number 008. Santa Bite. Santa Bite by Santa Flo. See how it goes. So everything is mostly tempted in. We just got to make our final connections. We'll have a video of that in a minute here. Um, you can see we got a Fernco cap down here temporarily because that one cap that we did receive was broken. Um, and we are going to add a trap here, go into the inlet valve, and that is mostly due to the concern of sewer gases. So all the instructions show going directly from the drain directly into the inlet. Um, but we don't see a reason as to how that's going to stop any sewer gas smell coming through. So I'm really not sure what's going to happen there. We'll find out. But uh, set the camera up, make our final connections, and then we'll uh, give this thing a test run. <laughs> hooked up ready for our first fire so we got an extension cord running because the electrician hasn't been here yet ran into temporary power your cord. There it goes. That was quiet. Micro in there so everybody can hear it. Yeah, that's a lot quieter than it is. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really move around too much. It's nice and quiet. Runs for about two seconds a piece right now. So, and it, it's not moving. I like it. I like it a lot. There you have it. All right, so one more test we wanted to do here is we're filling this sink up. We got it about halfway full or so. And we want to see how this thing runs with a large influx of water into it because we've noticed that when it's running, it's only running for a second or two at a time. So I will pull, turn the water off right here. I'll pull the drain and you'll hear how this thing runs. Um, it seems like it's still only running for um, a couple a couple seconds really. Like the max runtime is three to five seconds, it seems like. So it's just constantly pumping pumping water. I don't know if that's a concern for anybody, but this is still something I wanted to bring up. So we'll just put the microphone right right here. We'll just clip it over here. Um, and I'll hold it, I'll hold it, and I'll pull it. So, ready? Here we go. And 
and that's it. So it's it's running for, like I said, three to five seconds at most, but it's continually running. It's almost like the pump in there is a little small where it's gonna overheat if it runs too much or something. I don't know if that's making any sense, but um, overall, uh, both me and my plumber are actually very impressed with this unit because it is so small. You still get a plenty of plenty of space down here in the sink. I mean, if this was a standard, you know, bar sink, which is about as small as you can go, it'd be a 24 inch base cabinet and a normal pump drain, at least the ones that we've been, been using before, take up the entire bottom of the cabinet. So having this be so small, you still get plenty of access down here. And at least with here being blind corner cabinet, you can stick plenty of stuff back there. But um, overall, first impressions are very, very nice. Um, relatively easy hookup. Uh, yes, we did have that break, that broken um, plug arrive from Santa Flo, but they're gonna send me out a new one right away. Um, and they, they were very apologetic to it, so I really appreciate that. Um, we do have one kind of concern, and I think that was the, the vent, if I explained that earlier. If I didn't, I will say it all again. So with the direct inlet coming in this way, it's pretty wide open between the inlet and the outlet, okay? You have a vent right there with the check valve, but because it's all open there, you can get, there's nothing to stop sewer gas coming through here. So technically from, from here to here isn't vented. So any, there's no way to stop that. So we think that um, at least here in, in Wisconsin where our, our, our code is, is, we might have to add a, a mechanical vent here on the trap itself. Now all the instructions do not show a trap coming off of the sink. It shows a drain going right to the vent or right to the, to the drain. Um, and I did message Santa Flo over this and I have not got an answer back. If I do get an answer back, I will get, you know, update this video um, or something. But um, again, overall, pretty impressed with this little unit. Um, it's small, it's simple, plenty of space, quiet. I mean, I'll, I'll run this thing again with the cabinet door shut. And you probably won't even, won't even be able to hear that thing running because it's so quiet. So it's like, I like it. I like it a lot. So I've got the cabinet door shut. Got that thing going directly into the trap. It just fired. I could I could barely hear it. So again, I'll stop rambling. I like it. I like it. Santa Flow Santavite. Part number 008. And with that, I appreciate you watching if you have watched this far. Um, if you have watched this far, please consider subscribing. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. If you've used one of these before, if not, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, if you've used other Santa Flow products, this is the first one we've used. I know some they make uh, toilets where you don't need to actually open up the floor down here and redo some drains or something like that. But, yeah. Appreciate everybody watching. Have a good one.